Good morning AV Kids, my name is Chrissy and I'm your AV Kids host this morning and I'm really, really excited to be in your living rooms. We have got a few things to do today. Um, first off, we've started by asking some of our teams and some of our families a bit of a question. And the question is, what makes you feel better when you're feeling sick or when you're feeling poorly? Let's see what they said. Here's a question, Richard. What makes you feel better when you're feeling sick? Funny, I was thinking about that, and I remember when I was little, for some reason, the memory of scrambled eggs on toast comes to mind. Oh, that's rather nice. I could think of other things, but somebody, that's the one that sticks, yeah. Scrambled egg on toast. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Richard. Okay. When I'm sick, I have medicine. When I'm feeling sick, what makes me feel better is having some LucasAid original because that's what I had when I was little. My mum used to give us that to give us energy and make us feel bright again. What makes you feel better when you're sick, Jess? Um, being comforted. Yeah, anything else? Um, maybe to just, sometimes it's just actually to be free my back. Mummy and Daddy, something. Yeah. Thanks. I feel better. Um, what, um, watching talent here and having medicine. What makes me feel better when I'm feeling sick is snuggling up in a nice warm bed and having hot chocolate with whipped cream and marshmallows. What makes me feel better when I'm sick? A few things. Firstly, a duvet on the sofa. That's like a definite then maybe a hot water bottle, I do love to snuggle, which brings me on to the next thing, which is a really good cuddle, and then something great on TV, like a film or something to distract me and make me laugh or feel better. What makes me better when I feel sick and poorly? Um, definitely laying down. I might go on our sofa and put the recliner up and grab a blankie. Lots of blankies available in this house. Um, have a nice hot drink and I think some peace and quiet. I think that definitely make me feel better. I'd love to know what you guys said about what makes you feel better when you're feeling sick. Just pop it in the comments below and we can see. Now, let's worship together. We're going to um, sing and dance to a song that uh, we haven't done on Kids Online before, but we used to do it in the room. Um, and it's called God Sue. I've got my God Sue on. Worship together, dance, sing, enjoy the song, and we will come back in just a minute. Get ready, I get ready This way, this way 
Father God, thank you that you give us bodies that dance and move and voices that sing. I pray right now that you help us to continue to use them to worship you. In Jesus' name, Amen. I have got a box here. I say it shakes. It doesn't make any noise when I shake it. But inside this box there are things to help show you what we're going to talk about in our story. I'm going to bring them out and you can have a think about what they might be. So let's have a look, shall we? Oh, oh some tissues. I've got some tissues here. I've got some tissues that you can use to blow your nose. Don't wipe your eyes after you've blown your nose with the same tissue. Or wipe your eyes, because sometimes when we're sick we need tissues. Sometimes it's because we're all full of snot, and sometimes it's because if people we know are sick, it can feel quite sad. So I've got some tissues here. This is this next thing that I've got in my box. Oh. I've got a picture of a bed. I couldn't fit my bed in this room. I've got a picture of my bed. The reason I've got a picture of a bed, because sometimes when we're feeling poorly, the thing we like to do, I know a couple of people say they like to snuggle up with a blanket or on the sofa and have some rest, go to bed. The next thing, oh, I've got a cuddly. And the reason I've got a cuddly is because when we feel sick, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a cuddle, isn't it? It's nice to have a hug and to feel, to feel loved. Now those three things, they're all to do. Now those three things all show us things about being sick, which makes me think today's story is about someone who was sick, 
What do you think? So just to think back on those before we go to our story, I'm going to give you a bit of a challenge. One of the things was the picture of the bed, wasn't it? And you have got three minutes to try and make a comfortable bed. Now it might be a bed out of Lego or Duplo, or it might be you make a bed using blankets and pillows, but three minutes to make a bed on your marks. Get set. I've been living for the first time Find me living for the first time It's like I'm living for the first time Find me living for the first time It's like I'm living for the first time Have you got your bed? Now, if you've made a bed out of like blankets and pillows, why don't you snuggle down for the story? If you haven't, snap a photo of it, snap a picture, and chuck it in the comments below so we can see. I'm assuming that you've guessed from our question that we asked that for today's story, we're gonna think about somebody who was sick. Now, have a think with your brothers and sisters. What are the things you need when you're sick? So chat with your brothers and sisters, mums and dads, whoever's with you. What are the things you need when you're sick? Some of our team have said, about blankets and hot chocolate and marshmallows and hot water bottles. Is there anything else that you need and you have when you're sick? Our story is from the Bible and actually it's taken from the book of Luke in the Bible and it's a story about someone who had an encounter who met up with Jesus and it's about a man called Jairus. Now Jairus had a daughter and one day his daughter was very very poorly. She was really sick and she didn't get out of bed. In fact, it wasn't just one day, she had been sick for a few days now, maybe about a month, and she was really, really poorly, and Jairus didn't know what to do. And actually, Jairus was feeling really worried. Have a think for a moment. Is there anybody that you know that is poorly, that is sick? How do you feel? Because I know that if my friends are feeling sick, I can feel quite worried. And Jairus loved his daughter and wanted to do the best for her and wanted to make her well again. But the doctors had been, 
and nobody knew what to do. Nobody could make her better. And I think Jairus probably felt a bit helpless. One of the horrible things when people we know are sick is sometimes it feels like there's nothing we can do to help. There's nothing we can say to make it better. There's nothing we can do to make them better. And Jairus didn't know what to do. And then he thought and he realised that Jesus could make it better. Now Jairus lived in the time of Jesus, so he decided he was going to go and find him. And he went and found Jesus. Now in those days it wasn't easy to find people. You couldn't just drop an email or ring a phone call. You had to go and talk to them or send a message. So this man went to talk to Jesus and to find Jesus. And he met him and said, Jesus, Jesus, come quick. My daughter is sick. You need to come. You need to come. And Jesus came with him. But he was really busy and Jesus met other people on the way and it took him quite, it took a little bit of time to get there. And by the time that they had arrived home, Jairus had received a message from somebody to say that his daughter had died and not to bother because it was too late, his daughter had died. Jairus obviously was devastated. He felt so sad because he had gone to Jesus knowing that Jesus could make, a, that Jesus could make his daughter better and she had died. Jairus was really sad. And Jesus said, Why, what's going on? And Jairus said, well, my daughter is dead. And Jesus said, no, she's just sleeping. Come on, get up. And Jesus had made her well. And she got up and opened her eyes. And the place was just filled with joy. Now, I can imagine that that house, there was like a smashing party because everyone was so happy that Jesus had made the little girl well again. But what does that mean for us? What does that tell us about Jesus today? I believe that the Jesus we worship today, the Jesus that we have a friendship with today, is the same Jesus as the Jesus in the Bible and that he can heal our friends if they are sick and he can make them well again. So we're going to spend some time just having a think about that. Having a think about that and praying for people that we know that are feeling rubbish, that are feeling sick. And Charlotte's going to talk a little bit about how we can pray for people. Morning AV Kids, Charlotte here and I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about prayer. Now prayer is a time when we can just spend um, time with God in God's presence and what I mean by that is just hanging out, just hanging out with him. It's a time when we can talk to him, it's a time when he talks to us and a time we can just be and it is beautiful. Prayer is amazing. But sometimes people will be like, oh, what does it mean to be able to pray? And I've got somebody here to help me. Here is my friend, trusty drain pipe. This is a drain pipe from my garden. And prayer can work a bit like a drain pipe works. The drain pipe takes the wastewater that comes down. It goes all the way down and out the bottom. And this is the same as us. We can be a bit dirty. We can be a bit broken at times. But God still uses us, whatever. You see, when we ask God to talk to us, to be with us, to surround us with his love, the Holy Spirit kind of travels through us and down, down through our bodies, a bit like drain pipes, and it can come out of us. Now, why does it come out of us? That's because sometimes God wants us to pray for other people. He wants us to pray for them to be well, to be whole, to be healed. And this is what we call a drain pipe, pipe prayer. That's a tongue twister, a drain pipe prayer. So I would say to God, God, I would like you just to come now, Holy Spirit, and you can imagine him coming down through us as a drain pipe. And that's why we always ask people if we can have permission just to put a hand on them or just to put an arm around them just so they can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is just the part of God that's left with us here on earth. It's kind, it's gentle, God wants us to be able to help him help our friends. So when we pray for others and we pray for healing, the Holy Spirit comes down from God comes through us like a drain pipe whether we're dirty whether we're broken it doesn't matter how we come to him he can use us whatever we are like how amazing is that so if you wanted to pray for someone or if you just wanted to say to God hey God 
I'd really like to to be your drain pipe, to be one of your um, tools on a mission for you here in my home, in my school, and I want to pray for people. Just imagine the drain pipe. Pretty awesome, right? Let's pray, shall we? Have a think about somebody that you know that is feeling poorly and is sick. And remember that Jesus is the same Jesus as the one that we heard about in today's story. So we're going to pray for that person and trust that God can make them well. So think about a person now. Fix that person in your brain. Fix, fix them in. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you are a God who heals. We pray for... Put the person's name there right now and we pray that any sickness is gone from her body because Jesus you have authority over sickness and we pray that it is gone and that that person is well. Amen. It's been so great to see you guys today and I look forward to seeing you all soon.